Assalamu alaikum. In today's lecture, we will be discussing about the biofilm. What is this biofilm? And how this biofilm is formed? We are having many bacteria which are present in the water or on the liquid surfaces. These bacteria are having ability to get attached get adhered on the surface of the walls, on the surface of either walls or any surface. When they get attached there, they form a colonies. They form a colonies, then they form a thick layer on that surface. And we call these thick layer organism as a biofilms. It is the assembly of microorganisms onto the surface by excreting certain extracellular polymeric substance. These are the organisms that excrete extracellular substances which are polymeric in nature. It means they exist in the aqueous environment and their population is 1,000 to 10,000 times greater than the population outside that environment. If we talk about the natural environmental conditions, we are having less amount of organisms present here, but when these organisms get adhered or get attached or assembly onto the surface of certain places, so their existence or their number increases from 1,000 to 10,000. So it was first, it was the, um, these microorganisms was first seen by the Van Leeuwenhoek, he, what he did, he first observed microorganisms on tooth surface by using his simple microscope. What he did, he took a toothpick, so he removed something from his mouth. So he observed these under the microscope. So from his work, microorganisms came into the existence. These polymeric substances, matrix reduced growth rate by up and down regulation of specific genes. When these organisms have to grow onto the matrix or onto the surface, they upregulate their growth. And when they find that we are, there is excess amount of growth, then they downregulate their specific genes which are responsible for their growth. These will also communicate with each other. It's not like we are having only one cell, but these microorganisms also communicate with each other. The biofilms are composed of variety. It's not a single organism which are getting attached onto the surface, but there are variety of microorganisms. The matrix of biofilm is made up of primary of polysaccharide material. The biofilm mainly is polysaccharide material, non-cellulose materials, like there may be Mineral crystals, crystal particles, clay ho sakta hai, silt particles, or if these biofilms are formed on instruments which contain the blood, then there will be the presence of blood components as well. So the component, the composition of this biofilm depends on the environment in which the biofilm has developed. Biofilm may be form a wide variety of surfaces, like it can form on living tissue, in developing medical devices, industrial or potable water system, piping or natural aquatic systems. And best example, which we can see that in case of our aqua guards, you might have seen the, when the water is getting filtered, when it's coming out through the small pipe, then there are sometimes the Corrosive material or some whitish type of material is or thickening of the walls are there that are actually the biofilms. Now the now the common principle. So it is how they follow their life cycle. It's the attachment, co-adhesion, regulation of biofilm phenotype, biofilm architect. Now what is actually happening when there is a formation of biofilms and the biofilm has to form how it's formed and what are the different steps 
through which these organisms are able to form the biofilms. So first is the contact. First is the contact of an organism onto the surface. These organisms form solid liquid interfer interfer interface. They are formed on by the solid liquid interface because in liquid we are having organisms and we need to solid support for them where they will get attached. Macroorganisms are present in liquid like blood is there, water purifiers, they get attached onto the solid surface and they form the colonies and they form the small colonies that is their primary colonies that is their primary colonies and appear to increase on the surface by increasing roughness on the surface. The biochemical, the biochemical properties like the material which is composed of the matrix, kis cheez ka bana hai, ya jo substance hai jahan pe attach ho wo kis cheez ke, that is their physiochemical properties of the surface may also exert a strong influence on the rate and extent of attachment. Jo jis surface pe banne ja raha hai, uski jo physiochemical properties hai, uski toughness kya hai, uska smoothness kya hai, usme jo material use hua hai, that also is going to have a strong influence on the attachment or on the contact. It has been observed that microorganisms attach more rapidly to hydrophobic non-polar substances. Jo hydrophobic non-polar substances ke wahan pe kya ho rahe? Wahan pe attachments strong dikhai jate as in case of Teflon, plastic bears or other plastics than to the hydrophilic material. Agar hydrophilic material ki baat karenge, wahan pe utni attachment nahi hoti. Kahan pe attachment hoti hai? Hydrophilic parts mein. Now the second is the absorption. Adsorption. Onto the surface, the bacterial cell get adsorbed to form a colony. They get adsorbed and form a colony mediated through a specific and non-specific interaction. When there is an interaction of the microorganisms with its surface, or it may be specific or it may be non-specific interaction. Third is the growth. Bacterial cells increase in size. This go for self-replication process. And this process and the growth is there till they get a rate limiting factor. It may be nutrient, it may be the space which is going to limit its growth. Now, when they stop growing, then there is the production of extracellular products which are carried, which, en which are encoded by their genes, the extracellular, they excrete the extracellular ma material, then the attachment. Later or secondary colonies, primary colonies are there, they attach, they form full growth. Now these colonies are going to form the secondary colonies. They get, what is happening? They get, mother, detached from the primary colony area and get attached to somewhere else on the surface of any substance. After forming lumps, the cells detach from the growing surface and return to the bulk fluid. Detach ho gaya wahan se, phir kahan pe aajata hai? Fluid mein aajata hai organism wapas. Then reattachment occurs again at other surfaces that is the re-entertainment. A jaga ban gaya, puri colonies ban gaya, phir puri growth limiting factor aga, either space or the nutrient. Phir wo colonies vahan se koi koi set attach ho jati hai. Then they get re-entertained. As you can see in the diagram, what is how these biofilms are Form. These are the organisms or planktonic organisms which are present in the nature. When they get attached on the surface, then the, what is there? First, there will be the formation of monolayer. 
there will be formation of monolayer and production of matrix. Extracellular substance, jo hai. Then the micro colony formation take place in the third step by making multilayer. Then the mature biofilms with characteristic like mushrooms form the polysaccharide, form of the polysaccharide. Then again, the detachment takes place. Then these organisms again get the entertainment at other surface. Now, if, if we talk about the their impact, biofilm impact, they are having impact in oceanography. These biofilms impact ecology, biology, medical, and dental. It means, it means it's not limited to one area, but it's limited. It's affecting other areas as well. Oceanography may affect karta, ecology, may, biology, medical, or dental. As we have plagues in our teeth, that is actually the biofilms. Now, if we talk about the composition of these biofilms, these biofilms are made up of water, as these organisms are present in the fluid. They are microbial cells, polysaccharide proteins, DNA, and RNA ions. It has been estimated that water is up to 95% water is present up to 95%. And the microbial cells are within in the range of two to 5%. These two to 5% cells are able to secrete one to 2% polysaccharides. And these polysaccharides are made up of less than one to 2% of proteins. These microbial cells are having DNA and RNA content in the range of less than one to 2%. And there may be sometimes ion free ions or the bound ions. We are having like different roles of these biofilms are there. <coughs> as we as I discussed that these biofilms are present on, on your teeth also. Now, if we talk about their applications, these five biofilms are presently involved in the degradation of toxic substances, which are either present in the soil or in the water. They are used for commercial production of chemicals through which we are able to generate the electricity. Biofilms can affect the quality and yield of crops, causing biofueling of microbial induced corrosion. This end up our lecture.